A mom is sharing her story and speaking publicly this morning, nearly one year after her son and another teenager drowned after they went for a swim in the Farmington River. And now that grieving mother has a special message to anyone who plans on going for a swim in any body of water this summer. Let's send it out to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo, who is live along the river in Unionville. And Audrey, this mother is just trying to keep her son's memory alive. Nicole Wendell, that's right. Here along the Farmington River next Friday, Lucas Brewer's mom is going to be unveiling a bench in her son's memory. Just yet another tangible reminder for those who come to the river that it's important to keep water safety in mind. She's doing this because she wants to make sure that no other family goes through what she's going through. Now, on July 15th of last year, Anthony Nagor and Lucas Brewer jumped into the Farmington River off of a dam. It took four days to find their bodies and they were found about a mile away from where they went in. Now here along the river, there are numerous access, access points where people can go in to either kayak or boat or go tubing or swimming. But it's important, experts say, to keep water safety in mind, to always bring a U.S. Coast Guard approved life jacket along with you. And this is a rallying cry that Lucas's mom has really sort of taken on herself as she's learned more about water safety and the river over these last few months. I never knew nothing about rivers. I never knew that there was a tumbler that came off the, the fall or whirlpools. Now, there is a scholarship fund that Lucas's mom has started in her son's memory. Every year, they're going to be taking money that's raised, and they're going to give it to a high school senior. If you'd like to donate to it, you can head to our website, WFSB.com, or check out the Channel 3 app. Live in Unionville, Audrey Russo for Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right. Thanks, Audrey. Good advice there.